Hi, this is Jen with the Volusia County Public Library Hope Place Branch. And today's craft will be this reversible, magnetic, clean, and dirty dishwasher sign. Just to let people know not to add any more to the dishwasher before you run the, the load of the dishes. Or to let people know it is time to go ahead and unload the dishwasher. Let's get some items together for this craft. So if you have a Scrabble game sitting around that just some of the pieces are missing or nobody wants to play anymore, that is excellent for this craft. Or you can go to one of the local crafting stores and buy the little pieces. They sell the tiles with letters on them. They may not have the numbers, but that's okay. They're still just as cute. Also, what you will need is a ruler. You will need either two popsicle sticks or I find that one tongue depressor size stick is best. Um, a pencil, exacto knife, or you could use the utility knife. Really, just going to use this for scoring. Um, we're going to be using hot glue today, invisible tape, um, and also I have magnetic tape. But you can use a magnet off the refrigerator if it's small enough to fit um, behind here and be hidden. Uh, also, we're going to finish it off with some Mod Podge to make it watertight because it's going to be against that dishwasher. We want to make sure that it's protected and useful for a very long time to come. So let me get ready and get started. So I have the words clean and dirty all spelled out already, ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these down and line up the first word clean. Okay. And then I'm going to line up the second word dirty. But then what I want to do is take my second word dirty because they're both facing away from me. I want to spin dirty around so it's facing me. And then I'm just going to bring the two together. Now it's not going to be perfect. It might take just a moment, but we're just going to tap them together gently so that they are all the pieces are fitting together and we're very close because yeah some of them are a little I've found that even on my example um, the end is a little bit bigger so we're okay so this is where the first part of our invisible tape is going to come in so we've got about three inches of our invisible tape and very gently tack it down over the top that way we can lift it up because we want to flip it over. So this is what you should have right now. Okay. So yeah, just be very gentle. It does want to come apart, but because we don't want to push our tape down and we don't want to have like duct tape or anything because we don't want any residue left behind when we peel that off. So now what we're going to do is take our wooden tongue depressor, or if you had had two popsicle sticks, you would just glue them together to make them a little thicker. So what we're going to do is first, I want to go ahead and cut off at least this rounded edge here. So I'm just going to take my ruler, just make a line, and I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to score through the wood. and just two times should really do it and it should just pop right off and you can just take the wood and it does not have to be perfect because it's all gonna be hidden so all we've done is take it off the corner okay so now what we want to do and depending on the blocks you get um, I noticed that the ones that you buy at the hobby stores are about the same as the Scrabble pieces. So what we want to do is we want to measure how big from the shortest point. So it's three and a half across on the letters. So what I want to do is I want to make this back three and a quarter. Okay, I just want to give it a little bit of play. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go three and a quarter. make a little line and then I'm going to score that two to three times okay and just 
comes right off. So now we have a three and a quarter inch little piece, okay? So all we're going to do now is take our hot glue and put it all behind this stick and put it right in the center. So this is what we're looking for. Um, you have a little bit on each end, but that stick is right there in the center holding all of the blocks together. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is what I like to do is I'm just gonna run a little bit of glue just really quick across each side all the way down. Just to, because it, it's gonna be in the back so it's not like anyone's ever gonna see it. Just to really make sure that it's held Plus we're going to be Mod Podging at the end and that's gonna go ahead and seal it too. We're all sealed up on the back. We're ready for our bagnet. Um, I have cut a two inch piece off of the strip and what I did is I just, if you have a roll of magnet, just give it a little to get, take some of the round out. And this comes with an adhesive back, but I wanna make sure that this is really gonna stick well, so I am gonna go ahead and put hot glue on my board as well. So right here, I'm just gonna put some hot glue. And I'm gonna make sure my magnet, glue my magnet down and hold for just a few minutes. So now that our back is finished, we can go ahead and flip it over and peel off that transparent tape. Just be very gentle. Okay, and let's get ready to Mod Podge and finish this up. So our last step is gonna be, we're gonna Mod Podge. Um, I would do two or three layers, just to make sure it's um, definitely watertight. All we're gonna do and make sure you get in the cracks because this is gonna help the seal. Now, whether you use a gloss or a mat is definitely up to you. It's gonna dry clear either way. Just depends on what you like. Okay. So I would also Mod Podge around the sides and any wood that you see in the back so you might have to do this in layers where you do the front and then the back separately. So I just finished my first layer of Mod Podge and I was able to hold it with the magnet. So I got in the back to just where the magnet wasn't touching um, just to make sure that it's watertight. I'm gonna let this dry, add one more layer and then we're ready to go. So I'm gonna put the next layer on and I'll see you in a minute. So this is our completed reversible magnetic clean or dirty dishwasher sign. It's to let anyone know that they can continue to add dishes to the dishwasher before it is run or to let someone know, hey, it is time to empty the dishwasher. So I hope you enjoyed my video. And don't forget to check us out on volusialibrary.org. Also on our Facebook page at Volusia Library. And we have an Instagram also on YouTube where Volusia is getting crafty. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.